let's go back through those again one more time. What was this one? Minute. Minute. Tail. Mail. In modern society, reading opens the door to a child's future. Therefore, it's critical that our children get the right start in learning to read. Not all kids do. Parents and other adults see their first, second, and third graders struggling with basic reading materials and lacking beginning reading concepts such as how sounds relate to letters. And they wonder if our schools are failing in their most basic mission. To answer these questions, Congress requested that the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development consult with the Department of Education to create a national reading panel whose members were charged to review the research on reading to determine the effectiveness of approaches to teaching children to read. The National Reading Panel was established by the Congress of the United States, largely, I believe, in response to concerns that were presented to them by their constituents. Parents, uh, school teachers, administrators, all were increasingly concerned about the problem that we have with teaching reading to children in the United States. The panel was asked to prepare a report that would first develop a set of rigorous scientific criteria for evaluating reading research apply these criteria to existing reading research, identify the most effective methods for teaching different reading skills, and make their findings accessible and useful for both teachers and parents. The goal of the National Reading Panel's work is to guide effective instruction of reading in America's classrooms. The panel's work over a year and a half focused on research of the following topics. How important is phonemic awareness in learning to read, and how is it most effectively taught? Does phonics instruction enhance children's success in learning to read, and how should it be most effectively taught? What methods are most effective in developing reading speed and accuracy, and the ability to read with proper expression? What role do vocabulary development and vocabulary instruction play in helping children understand what they've read? What do teachers need to know in order to teach and model the use of these strategies? How can the research be integrated into pre-service and in-service education of teachers? How successful is computer technology in teaching reading? What are the gaps in what we know about how children learn to read and the methods to teach them? Phonemes are the smallest sound units in the English language. The National Reading Panel found the most effective way to teach children to read is through systematic and explicit manipulation of phonemes in words in a balanced reading program. The panel also found that children as young as those in preschool and kindergarten are capable of learning the sounds of their language and how the sounds relate to print. This knowledge of phonemes as part of a beginning literacy program is critical in early reading development. While the development of phoneme awareness is critical to reading and spelling development, it is not sufficient. Once children become aware that the words they hear are made up of sounds, they must learn to link those sounds to the letters of the alphabet as they begin to actually read and spell. This linking of letters and sounds is the foundation for phonics instruction, which helps beginning readers recognize new and unfamiliar words in print. Two letters making one sound. The panel found that systematic phonics instruction is effective for students in kindergarten through sixth grade and for those who are having difficulty learning to read. It's most effective when it is integrated with instruction in phonemic awareness, reading fluency, and reading comprehension. The panel concluded that systematic phonics instruction integrated in a total reading program should become part of the reading curriculum. Fluent readers are able to read orally with speed, accuracy, and expression while understanding what they're reading. Practice in reading orally and with the teacher's guidance and feedback helps children recognize words, become fluent, and comprehend what they're reading. What seems clear is that independent silent reading in the classroom should not be used as the only type of reading instruction to develop fluency and other reading skills. Reading comprehension is critically important for students in order for them to acquire information and knowledge from text. Student achievement is linked to children's ability to understand and enjoy what they read. To improve reading comprehension, children must also learn vocabulary. A series of strategies to gain meaning from text 
and be instructed by teachers who have had formal training in these strategies. Now, why should I bother to stop and survey, protect, and set a purpose, Matthew? So you can get actively involved in the book. It's clear that more research is needed to address how much pre-service and in-service education is optimal, how to assess teachers' effectiveness, and what support teachers need over the long term to be most successful in helping students learn. The National Reading Panel explored research of various technologies to understand how these tools can help teach reading. Listen to it sizzle. The daughter is sizzling. The use of computers to teach reading is relatively new to our classrooms. The panel found that speech synthesizers, hypertext, and word processors have real promise in teaching reading. However, more research is needed. No report ever by itself solves a problem or changes the world. But you can look back on reports that have started actual efforts to do something about the issue. This is a, a landmark study in many ways because of what it has to tell. It's up to us now to make sure that the information that has been gathered diligently by this panel and critically evaluated is spread around the country so that we can put it into practice in our nation's classrooms as the Congress asks us to do. The President has established the goal of every child being able to read by third grade. We now know how to make that goal a reality. This is the time for all of us to use these valuable findings to help every child become a skilled and fluent reader.